body kit Forged cop and whip, she ready, let me fall I do about two million a month Holy cow Wow, we just parked the whip. This house belongs to a guy named Wes Watson. Look, look what you had done. Playing with my feelings got me. Look how crazy this is. This is what you call a compound. When I saw those rap, I should have did that and just run. Yeah. He got pawns? Wes is not here right now. He told us to park the car. He's bringing a couple of his exotics. Now, I have no idea what he does for a living, okay? I have no idea how he accumulated all this wealth. Today, we're gonna get a mansion tour. Second, we're gonna pick Wes Watson's brain and see how he accumulated all of this. I'm ready. Are you ready? Also, if you are an entrepreneur, business owner, or someone that just wants to make more money or find their next career opportunity, we have a community that we built for you. In this community, we all get to network. We all get to talk to each other, learn from each other. We have live calls and guest speakers religiously. If you want to level up your life, this community is perfect for all of that. Remember, your network is your net worth. Click the link in the description below and join the community today. There he is. Damn. <laughs> There he is. Baby mama with <laughs> Nice to officially you meet doing, you. Good, good. Yeah, nice to meet you. Hell yeah. What's up, dog? How you doing? That's Marlon right nice here. Nice to meet you, Bust the other ones out. Okay. I couldn't get the Conan ready in time. It's supposed to be done later today. The whole thing is about how people make money online. Yeah. As I drove back to pick up the other car, let's see what payments went through. Okay, 1202, just a 750. Okay. Uh, 1223, we got a 2000. Okay. We got a 12,500. Wow. We see the beautiful crib. I don't even know how much this goes for. We see the beautiful whips. For the people that are seeing you for the very first time, who are you? What do you even do? A lot of people know me as like America's most famous felon. Okay. But I mean, I run GP Penitentiary Life, a YouTube channel that gives mindset tricks on how to really evolve yourself. I've been through it. I had the worst life now the best life and I've lived everything in between I did 10 years in California prison wow. where I was incarcerated as a documented high-level gang member I ran it in prison I ran it before I went to prison so obviously when I come out I'm gonna run it when I get out of prison when people listen to me they elevate because we don't miss the whole thing I show on my Instagram and on all my channels is that consistency will kill it when you come from a place like prison it's real militant so that mindset is everything that you never miss the man you are is purely how you program your 100%. daily character and we're only validated by what we can get done each day in our habits and that's what the penitentiary taught me and I brought how I lived in the penitentiary to the street mm -hmm. I taught people how to heal themselves, get themselves right mentally, physically, in all ways, and then I teach them how to do that for others. There's very few people who run coaching programs that even scrape the million a month mark. I do about two million a month at 85% profit. How much did you make today? Because you showed me something earlier. Well, so, so yesterday alone, I did 90,000. Okay. But today, so far, just on the drive down here, I did about 15,000 on the drive back here. Today, we'll do anywhere between 30 and 200 grand. Wow. That's insane. Every day, I do between 30 and 200,000. I have about 40,000 in recurring revenue from all my programs that I get daily. So daily, I get 40,000 regardless. If yeah. I don't can do one thing. Wow. I want to touch more on that later, like, because I got a lot of questions. But can we do like a house tour? Let's do that. Let's, Let's, Let's do that. What's going on over here? Let's dive into these whips. I love my cars. I went to prison for being a drug dealer. Attempted murder, robbery, all that. It was a drug deal that went bad. Yeah. I went to prison for 10 years. But you know how us drug dealers like our cars. I'm a reformer. But I'm just telling you, we love our cars. We like them done right. This is that 2022 Damn. Lamborghini Urus, full Novatech kit, wide body kit. Goodness. If you know anything about a wide body kit, wow. it's an extra 100 bands to even have the Novatech wide body kit. A load of carbon, Novatech rims. The whole interior is carbon, Novatech, Novatech upgrades. This is an insane setup. If I were to get an Urus right now, it would be exactly like this one. How much does this go for? This is 500 bands. 500? The lovely Evo right so this, here. So this was my first Lambo. I had to get a Lambo car, and I, I didn't want to stretch to the SVJ back then. I was like, ah, it's a little too much. 
And so I got this. It was 374. I had it shipped in from the Hamptons. How much was this one? They're like 374. 370. Only 370, slightly. We got this nasty big boy right here. This we got 26s. Ooh. I think these are these are AG wheels. People have Cullinans. I have a Cullinan. I have a 2023 Black Badge Cullinan that's getting painted right now. But the Phantom shuts everything down. This was 653 paid for it cash. All that together is already over a mil. So that was over a mil. Now we're getting into the cars that are actually have been over a mil for the last year or two. When this one first dropped, the SF90 was a mil. These are steadily right now. You couldn't find one of these for 775 plus tax. Mm -hmm. They're going to get worse too because there's only 500 of these made. This is SF90. Ferrari does well with keeping their production limited. Uh, concave rear wheel, 21s in the front, 22s in the back, custom oh rims, 1,000 horsepower. 1,000 horsepower. This thing, nothing drives better than this. This thing drives disgusting. It's got racing seats that are 80,000 too. And then the SVJ? It's like a million fifty. Is it 2021? This was a Jorge Solar's car, a pro baseball player. Okay. This thing has 160,000 extra carbon. This front bumper's like a 18 grand, you know? Wow. If you look inside, the doors are carbon. It's got a carbon uh, roof scoop. I That's see another, that. it's about 30,000 just on this roof scoop right here. There's so much carbon on this car, world? it shuts down everything else. You custom oh HRE rims that were 27,000. A lot of people, you know, they don't own their cars. Well, I do. Pink Slip's coming for this. I just got it the other day. Here's the Pink Slip for that Phantom 2022 Rolls. My other Rolls Royce Cullinan that's being painted right now, 2023 Rolls Royce Cullinan, has like 500 miles on it. It's a matte black factory. Here's a pink slip to the SF90 Ferrari. Dang, so the registration on that is 5,900? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Huh? Yeah. I don't even notice. <laughs> These are my older cars. This car is the only car I have a car note on, is this one. And the payment's 2,400 a month. I actually had a problem. I paid off too many cars and it wasn't affecting my credit good enough. Whatever, you Sounds know? Sounds like a good problem. Yeah, the, the thing is, <laughs> I've been out of prison five years. Wow. So what people don't realize is, like, how quick can you move in five years? The only way you move fast in this life is you play all offense. I don't play defense. Players are scared. I don't give a I'm not worried about if I live or die or this or the other. I have one objective, and that's straight to the top while living the best life and being the man that I admire, the man I needed my whole life. Yeah. And I'm willing to live a certain way that is not how everyone else who's successful like this would live. I do not have parties here. I do not drink. I do not have to do any of the stuff that most people do with this lifestyle. I really just show people how success is built through daily disciplines. My boy's like, dude, carry a couple car notes this year. Like, get a G-Wagon or yeah. something or get something else. This is a Brabus, so it's not your normal G-Wagon. The Brabus is like extra horsepower, more carbon fiber. We all need something in case there's a lot of potholes and we just got to mow over some now, out of all these cars, what's the daily? SVJ the most. Really? But, yeah, oh, but no. to, if I'm driving to the gym in the morning, which is the only place I really go every day, I drive the Urus or I drive the Brabus. Hey, good choices. Yeah. How much square feet is this home? This place is 22,000 square feet total. This main house is 16,000. And then there's like... Hold on. You said main house? Yeah, this so is you got another house. house in here? Yeah, there's uh, two guest houses. There's this main house and there's a 3,000 square foot full service spa. How much does this house go for? This house is 30 million. This is in San Diego, 9.6 acres, and we're a mile from the five freeway. The five freeway is a mile from the beach. We're in Rancho Santa Fe. If anyone knows, this is one of the most desirable zip codes in the planet. You, you tell me I sign you name, but baby, you know. Okay, so where are, we, where are we walking into right now? Lights on, but. Okay, let's turn it on. There's so many bedrooms in this house, I don't really go in. Here's one bedroom. I think I laid on that bed the other day, just came in here laid in there. What is this, like the guest room? It's or? one of the guest rooms. <laughs> this main house is six bedrooms. Okay, six bedrooms. A main house and another, there's, there's like multiple houses in one? Dang. So then this is like a laundry room. You got a movie theater, it's a full size. What? Three tiered movie theater. Oh my goodness. This is not like a standard movie theater. This, this is, is a legitimate This movie is actually theater. like, a movie theater with the stage. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I, do, I do like a mastermind at my house once a month. I have people come up here and tell their story because that's a lot of how I made my money was sharing my story, motivating people to change their lives. This is that's insane. the thing about these big uh, houses, cardio walking up and down. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite rooms right here. I just come kick it. So this is the main entrance, right? Yeah, the it's the main doors? front door. Okay. 
Wow. This is one of my favorite rooms in the pad. I just, I really, do. I'm weird. I sit in this house with no music on, no TVs on, nothing ever. I live here by myself. And I'll just sit in my chair right here, just clocking all day, writing up some good shit, making content, all the above. Are you single? Are you married? Are you... you no, got I, I got or? a girl. She lives in Vegas. Oh, okay. I want to be married to her, but she plays me a little she keeps the arms strong on me. So my office right here is sick. Where's the kitchen at? Oh, the kitchen will go in there. It's my small office. My meetings for my group, I do Zoom calls with one-on-one -on -one or different people, and I yeah. like that I can project the, uh, the calls onto my, uh, my TV above the fireplace right here. I love all this. My dad was a construction worker. My mom cut, was a hairdresser. And I mean, the thing is, is like, I sold drugs because I wanted to get ahead. I wanted night. Yeah. And I mean, I went to prison because I wanted night. I would do anything it took. And um, now I, just to realize that I flipped my life around and came out positive, yeah. was able to create more than I ever could imagine. Is this Real, the master bedroom? Yeah, this. Oh, we just creeped up into the master bedroom. Damn, it's a palace. You got a living room in your bathroom. Yeah, if, if you don't have couches in your bathroom, you're tripping. You got a living room in his bathroom. He got, is that a jacuzzi? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a jacuzzi. Closet. Oh, my. Wow. You got, like, every Louis backpack and duffel bag. I think one's missing. What's that one at? So oh. it's only appropriate I call you Mr. West, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, he likes Louis V, like Kanye West. <laughs> this bag's hard right here. Yeah, that's the, that's the <laughs> Virgil. How much does this go for? It was like eight grand. Eight grand? It takes a different type of person. And all these people who say it's not about money, they don't realize it's about being responsible. Yeah. No one just gets handed this lifestyle. You Earn it and keep it. Yeah, you, know? yeah. you want something to drink or anything? Uh, I'm good. Are you, you? Yeah, we're good. Thank you, man. You got. We gotta see that pantry though. <laughs> uh, it's it's just loaded normal. This is, this is the main kitchen, as we see, big kitchen island. I have the subs, right? You gotta keep the subs <laughs> all stashed. <laughs> we measure everything. Everything's on point. I eat perfectly measured meals. Everything's oh, just made for me. I'm I'm not someone who's about guesswork. This is the grand living room right here. Yeah, it's a Living room, okay. there's like a pool table room over there. Okay. Is that a revolving bowling ball? Yeah, it's like a <laughs> sun or something. <laughs> Cold hot, pretty face, let it chase, big mistake, no give or take, they all the same for goodness sake. So this is like one of the best parts living in SoCal. We're in Rancho Santa Fe in San Diego. Wow. How often do you got swim? A, got a gym on the other side. I've never been in the pool, not once. You can literally have a wedding here, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Legit, like, oh. So this is, this is where I have my brunch on Sundays, every Sunday, overlooking the palm court, which oh that's called. Oh my goodness. You got the basketball hoop and yeah. everything. It's not a pad in Rancho Santa Fe if you don't have a tennis court. If you can't look from above and be like, oh, this is a estate, then you I use this tennis court for burpees with my team. I don't play tennis. Anybody watching who's like, why do you need all that? This is the whole thing. If you're still living in needs in 2023, we made it to want. Whoa. You got to hit them with them. Huh? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> you live in a park, huh? Like, this is a whole park. Straight compound. <laughs> right, compound. What? So-so. <laughs> Look at this. You got a damn lake. Yeah, you got to have a lake. <laughs> you got to. Oh, my goodness. So this is where the koi fishes are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're not in the front, they're over here. One of these real estate guys who thinks he's somebody on Instagram, yeah. show his little of a koi pond in his bucket pad. And he said, this koi pond is like 12,000 a month to maintain. I said, my koi fish are about 5 million. <laughs> they're all about 20,000 each. There's about two to 5 million worth of them in this oh lake. Oh my goodness. They're hungry. They're sharks, well. It extends all the way, the, the whole lake. It extends all the way over there. Yeah, there's there's a whole nother oh side to it. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Okay, so this is the spa, huh? It is a spa. It's got a real Roman feel to it. Oh yeah. Two bathrooms, three showers. If oh you come in here, there's a steam room. Okay. Damn. And over, over here is a spa. This is like a Roman spa. Got another little waterfall out here. Nice little you just don't chill stop. area. It's 
a mega estate. Yeah. You know, we see all these celebrities with massive houses. It just tells you you don't have to be a celebrity or an entertainer or an actor or a musician to have something like this. Now, people yeah. who are into sales and they're entrepreneurs and they understand profit margins, they, they can have stuff like this. A lot of people say they make a lot of money. I say how much you profit. Mm. I want to say how much you're spending. Because I don't want to just make money, I want to spend it. Yeah. So I need to profit a lot. Absolutely. So you got a place for girls to get their toes oh, done. What? A manicure and pedicure area. Uh, well, now we're going up to the guest house. Is that another garage I see over there? Yeah, it's, uh, that's for all the workers and the there's full service staff of like eight. I don't get my bed made just in the morning. They make my bed before I get in and it. Really? <laughs> this is a whole nother house in the property. What in the world? I don't know if I could take it anymore. It just keeps going. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. Are we still in the same city or what? Yeah, it's just a whole different <laughs> feel to it. This bathroom is kind of cool. I like it. I like the vibe. I mean, who used to live here before? To like, you know what I mean? Some like billionaire shipping guy. This is where you come to the bowling alley. A little cave? Yeah, this is like into the side of the hill. Oh my goodness. Damn. Oh my God. See what we got. Wow. Let's see what Snooze got. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see Snooze's game. You gotta go first. Okay. Wait, right, I'll get. I'll get one. I'll get one. Go ahead. Are you good at bowling? Not really. Okay. <laughs> Little spin for him. I think he's he's lying. Oh, okay. I'm out. <laughs> Welcome to the gym. This is kind of just a normal gym. I mean, I don't really give a uh, workout at home. I like to go to the gym. That's cool, that's cool. Thank you for showing me the crib. Dude, Absolutely pleasure. amazing, Dude, I, I used to see your videos like right before you DM'd me on Instagram. I, I started to see your videos, they were popping up and I'm like, oh, dope. Cause I like, I like baller. I, I always liked the MTV Cribs. Yeah. I, I like nicer lifestyles. Congratulations on all your success, obviously. Let me ask you this, this all happened five years ago. Yeah, right. I got out of prison five years ago. I, I stepped out of the gates. They handed me $200 check. It's wow. called gate money. I had $200 to my name and a massive criminal record. And I was, you know, I, there's no way. But I was so positive and I had such a good mindset. I was so focused on just, if I'm just a, if a man is right, his world will be right. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm just going to be a good dude. I don't want no more problems, you know. And I really like, I'm. I went to prison for straight violence. I'm a straight, I'm the opposite. Yeah. And so it was really easy for me to change my life. I had to just do the opposite of what I was. And um, I've just been blessed ever since, man, because oh, yeah. I decided to really change my life and teach others how to do the same. 100%. Now, are you comfortable kind of backtracking and talking yeah, yeah, about... Yeah, uh, So before prison, you know, kind of describe like what was going on in your life. I mean, before prison, I lived in a, a high-rise condo downtown San Diego. I had a little okay. mini mansion in Encinitas. I had a Range Rover, white on white, 24s. I had a Chrysler 300. And I was like, uh, I, I was living that little life. I was selling drugs. I would get like 200, 250 pounds at a time. Okay. And uh, anything else I could get my hands on to make money off, I'd make money with. And um, I was just a hustler since day one. I've never had a job in my life. Hmm. I've never clocked into a job, not one time in my life, except the first job I ever had that was in prison. And I got paid eight cents an hour wow. to work in the kitchen. Wow. So my first job ever was eight cents an hour. And I've never had a job. I've either sold drugs or owned my own business. I mean, what I tell people is your new life is going to cost you your old one. So, I mean, my old life was, I was the worst person. Like, literally, I had smoked. If you have a problem and you're, you come across me, you better walk the other yeah. way. Like, I was the dude, you know. And I, even in prison, that's who I was. I mean, I posted on Instagram in prison from 2014 to 2017. Once I got my first smartphone in prison, I started posting on Instagram. And I'm like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this platform to make money when I get out. Mm -hmm. And so by the time I got out, I was already had 10,000 followers. Really? And I was ready crush it so when you get out of prison after being in prison for 10 years you said you only had 200 dollars to your name so what, what were like the first steps to get to that level yeah so of this success so basically i was already like knowing that i would do people's diets and their workouts okay so that was the first thing. yeah so i knew i was gonna make people's diets and workouts so i got out i found an app i could do that from and i just downloaded the app and i started advertising on my instagram hey i could do your diets and workouts and i was in crazy shape i had been in prison for 10 years yeah so i mean 
and I had a whole different mindset. So I would post stuff about mindset, training, and nutrition, and I would slow. I just give so much stuff away for free that people were like, "Man, this is changing my life. I'm listening to you. I'm applying it, and it's working." Yeah. And then um, I started selling just uh, a program for two fifty one month, where I'll do your training, your nutrition, and we get on a Zoom call for mindset. I started there. That was my first core program. And um, once I went on YouTube and I started telling my story, I would get you know ten thousand dollars worth of signups a day, two fifty a pop. Now that I sell programs up to $20,000, yeah. that's all that really changed yeah. was I changed the pricing structure and the way my business model is. Hmm. A lot of people could come to me and I could just change their pricing structure. I could tell them to do a couple of different things and I could take them from $10,000 a month to $200,000. Yeah. They're just, a lot of people are just so foolish. They don't go get right around the people at the top and see how they do it. I don't sit there and close deals on the phone like a lot of coaches and fitness people. I do it through text message and I do it through different channels because the way my content is, I do all the selling in my content yeah. by showing the process of what I do before I have to get on the phone with them. Everything I do is different. Everything I do is streamlined. Everything I do is more simple. And if people watch my my uh, my program or my in my YouTube, a lot of the deepest mindset problems people have, I break down very simply. So it would be very, it'd be pretty obvious that I would do the same thing in business. And I've streamlined these, this type of business to where everybody who's a coach should really drop the way they're doing and come learn through me. Yeah, if you guys are curious to know more about Wes's programs and socials, link in the description below. What was that pivotal moment when you got out of prison, right? And you're like, wow, I can make a lot of money from this. Because I know it, you gradually built your way up. Yeah, I didn't even care about but, money. Okay. I really was just, I really just was talking online and was proud that I was no longer a problem. Yeah. Because I was a drug addict. I was drinking all the time. I was violent. I was a problem. I should have been in prison. Like, I needed to be off the streets. And um, You're saying you're, you're like this after prison? Yeah, no, before. Okay. Before I went to prison. Okay. Then when I got out, I was so proud of myself. I was just sharing that I was proud of myself to the world. Yeah. And people could sense that. Man, this dude is really, like, living a good life. And I didn't have and you I'd have anything, yeah. but they could sense in me that I was just happy and I was content and I was proud of myself. I was living a great life and I was at a high frequency. You know, yeah, I was yeah, living that definitely. that really high vibration lifestyle. And uh, most people don't understand that um, even the people with a place like this or with the most money, if they're not helping other people or they have bad habits, their life's going to be. Yeah. So I really just taught point. people how to how to live their best life. I can watch ninety nine point nine percent of people, and there's no way that they know what they're doing yeah. and we can look at their habits their life i could tell them why they feel how they feel why they're stuck where they're stuck and fully unmake all their problems very easily it's a lot of people ask me what i do and i say it's what i don't do mm. and that's the biggest thing what do you do for a living wes i say it's what i don't do and they're like what do you mean if i went in their life and took away all the stuff they shouldn't be doing and put all that energy towards what they should their life would be completely different yeah no that's facts that's 100 when you were in prison are you comfortable with talking about like how it went down in there yeah like, cali prison straight gangland dude yeah it's like it's way racial i mean you'd be another yeah so you're like asian i'm i'm a filipino and yeah so you'd Polynesian. be you'd be another so you you'd be the blacks, the others, and the Norteños are on one side of the day room. I see. And then the whites, the southern Mexicans, and the Pisces are on the other. And mm -hmm. so we're split. Okay. You know, and nobody, nobody intermingles. You don't work out together, nothing. Wow. And it's just, it's gang politics. It's racial politics. It's a horrible place. People are getting whacked all the time. Yeah. I mean, that's why people are so weak out here. Yeah. They've never been in rooms like I've been in. Like, they see my content. They see me yelling. They see me doing all this. It's like... These people out here are so soft that no wonder they can't capitalize like I can. They're scared That's of everything. Point. Yeah. Like they're scared of everything. I want to get to know more about how you develop that mindset. You know, because you said you were always a hustler, even before prison. You never had a nine to five, right? Like this mentality had to come from somewhere. It had to start from something. Yeah, yeah. I just always wanted to smoke for free. I was a drug dealer. Yeah. You know, I wanted, I wanted to smoke weed. So I'm like, I'd start off wanting to smoke weed for free. So I'd buy, you know, some some work and then I'd, I'd get rid of it so I could smoke my own for free. Yeah. I'm doing that at this house. Yeah, yeah. I, I live here for free off of what I sell from here. Yeah, everything's yeah, no, uh, Everything's paying for itself. Yeah. And I mean, I've just always had that mentality of how, how can I do this? How can I get this done? So you're in prison for 10 years. You went in when you were 24? 
Yeah, I went in at or I went in about yeah, 24, 25. In that moment, did you accept it? Like, you know what? I, yeah. The second I went in, I'm like, I grabbed the pen and I stepped back and I was sitting in the back of my mind and I'm like, uh, I'm a true observer, you know? I sit in my mind as like the, the witness, watching my thoughts unfold. And I'm like, okay, you have a chance right now. And I'm like, okay, what is it? I have a chance to write the greatest story ever told. To come in here, build the baddest while doing 10 years in prison, and then get out and show everyone what I'm, what's capable when you're the type of like me. Yeah. And a lot of people don't realize, they say those quotes, like they drew me to the wolves and I came back pack leader, and they write these things on their Instagram. Dude, 99.9% .9 of what these rappers rap about and what these quotes on Instagram are, I live to a T yeah. so greatly that they should just write this about me. But then I did write a book. Yeah. I wrote a best-selling book you? called Non-Negotiable by Wes Watson. Okay, I got There's it. Not, nothing Check I haven't out. done. Yeah. I was a pro snowboarder before prison. What? Yeah, the whole thing is, is like a lot of people just don't pursue it wholeheartedly. So those that will pursue wholeheartedly can take anything they want yeah like i can teach people how to go after life at a different level with a different level of in intensity to where they can they'll smash levels yeah. like people don't know people that live like this but once you get around me you see how i'm doing every part you see how you can make two hundred thousand a month five hundred thousand a month a million a month doing something with your skill set you know yeah yeah you looked at it as an opportunity oh, and not like okay i failed and not my life is yeah victim i don't hold on to life like other people do like i really know death is very cheap mm -hmm. uh, life is very cheap and death is gonna take place yeah so i mean I, I live every day to the fullest and the fullest meaning creating the best life ever yeah. a lot of people think living life to the fullest means um like engaging in a lot of uh, instant gratification but in all reality those people are just they're actually just escaping their current reality they say they say they're living their best life but all they're doing is escaping their current reality mm, and um i created a different reality that i love to live yeah and a lot of people just debate all this and they always say it's not about money or this or that i just tell everybody out there the goal is to create the individual you admire and give that person to the world and to me, it was a man who doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't use drugs. He's not a womanizer. He's wow. a very committed man to one one partner. I mean, he's, he's committed in everything he does. Like if Snooze tells me, Wes, be there at one, I'm here. I'm, I'm just, I'm on okay. point. Yeah. And I need you guys to realize that that is the most valued thing. A man who holds his word. Because all my life, I met these fake men that were undisciplined, didn't hold their word, and they broke it every every chance they got to break for something they wanted they always broke and sold out and I, that's what i can never be yeah yeah no that i i love that you're you say you're a man of your word and this is a perfect example of why you've accomplished all these things yeah, yeah and there's not a lot of people out there that are that are disciplined and a man of their word and responsible for whatever they're doing. See, a lot of people are men of their word. I'm a man of my thoughts even. If mm. I thought it I have to be it. Mm. I don't even have to say it to anybody wow. so i mean the point is is i i live by this thing called what i call conscience congruency if my conscience tells me i must do it i'll do it yeah so like my conscience told me i had to get a penthouse in miami because i was out there at a, an event i had the penthouse in the sls brickle the next week yeah and i'm gonna move in there on may 1st and i'm gonna keep this place and my other place i just don't slow down at all i'm not afraid to lose yeah yeah like yeah. people are like People are moving with so much defense, and I move with all offense. People are afraid yeah. to lose because their ego. I don't even care. I don't care if I go flat broke. Yeah. Like the next day, I'll just be a solid man again. Mm. Every day, my only goal is to not break character and to be a solid man. That's 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 beautiful. That's right it. There. Yeah. It's all I care about. Would you consider yourself a spiritual person? People say I'm more stoic, but I mean, I I I, I, know, I get that vibe. I, I know yeah. there's like a, I know there's a God. I know we've been created by something. I mean. I know I, they say your conscience is the authentic voice of God. Mm. So when I say conscience congruency, whatever your conscience is telling you when you follow that, you're basically following the path and the footsteps that God wants you to follow. Yeah, because what I'm getting off of this is you built this empire because of who you are and what you believe in, what you stand for, and the value you provide to others. 100%. And it's not just because oh if my you God, focus I, on the money, I don't, it's not really good. The only thing that makes me free in my heart is when I'm creating content or I'm writing or I'm working to create a man that will be a great instrument for others. Yeah. I feel like we're aligned. 
like with above and we can tap into infinite intelligence and mm-hmm. all the information is already there. So I don't read or anything like that anymore. Yeah. But once I really found out that gratitude was what opened the door to higher intelligence, I just lived a grateful life even on my worst of days. And gratitude to me is action. So if someone can't tell me they're grateful that it went on a bad day, they go drink alcohol. You're not grateful. You just trashed yourself. Yeah. On a bad day, I go work out. On a bad day, I still do the same stuff as a good day. Yeah. I never changed my day. I've never changed anything that. I've done yeah. since prison. If there is some young kid or someone that's struggling right now that's watching this video, what are some things you can First tell First thing, them? get sober. Yeah. To get off all substances so you can actually think clearly. And, you know, stop accumulating karmic debt. If you are doing wrong to people, you can't move forward. So first off, stop using drugs, stop using substances, and uh, quit accumulating karmic debt. Karmic debt is anything that makes you be punished with time. The universe punishes you with time. Mm. So, like, if I, do, if I was wrong to you guys right now, I was a d- to you guys, I'm like, fuck you guys, get my house like if you did so and i was just being a prick yeah then for the next two three hours i'd be like no nah, snooze was wrong i'd be debating in my head but really those two three hours were taken from me because the act i did and now i'm stuck in the debate and the negotiation that i was right yeah. i don't live that way i only have complete clarity moving forward because i don't do anything wrong if you go yell at your chick on the phone and you're wrong you'll sit there and and you'll replay the event for five hours later, you won't be able to shoot this video with clarity, you won't be able to write stuff, you won't be able to move forward because you're being punished with those five hours because how you made her feel. And don't listen to anybody else. Like a real guy, a real teacher won't tell you what to see, he'll show you where to look. Yeah. And I want you to just look in your heart and have it tell you what you need to change to be the man you admire, the man you would listen to. Yeah. And do, do not expect someone to listen to you if you wouldn't listen to you. And especially if you don't listen to yourself, don't expect anybody to listen to you. Yeah. And I listen to myself to a T. And it's not even myself, it's our conscience that's telling us how to be and how to guide our lives. Yeah. And there's a lot of things that's, that, that's good, yeah. there's a lot of things that I practice that are so painful still. Like I live here by myself. I would want my girl and her daughter to live here, but she's just not ready. And we've been together almost a year. Yeah. So she lives in Vegas and I have to fly her back out and everything. And most people are like that, Wes. Like, she should be ready. You have this mega mansion, you take care of all her bills, you do all this, she's wrong. And I'm like, you may say that, and it may seem right to you because you're operating from you know subjective reality and you feel a certain way about it. But objectively, I feel like if I do something wrong to her, it would hurt my heart and my soul. So I'm not going to do anything, and yeah. I'm just going to be more patient. I mean, I could give her a time frame and say, hey, if you don't make the move in the next six months, I got to go. Yeah. But I yeah. mean, I, I, the whole point is, is I don't move the way people move because I want what I want. I move the way I move because of what's right and what's wrong. Can you give me three things that, that mean the most to you? I mean, I want to tell people the three things of hyper successful individuals. Go for it. Go for so, it. I mean, you guys probably won't like this, but this is what you're going to need if you want to be hyper successful, which this channel is about. I want to hear it. So, the first thing is you have to know you're better than everybody. Kobe and Michael and the top people did not go into the game trying to get second place. Yeah. And then, second, you have to you have to never be satisfied. I am not satisfied at all. You saw this life. I'm not satisfied at all. Mm. The second after this is done, I'm going directly into sales and I need to get more, more, more. And people think that's a problem. No, it's just more. Yeah. I, don't, I don't make it a problem. Yeah. And the third thing is, is impulse control. Yeah. So first, you're the best. Nobody's better than you. Like literally, you are the top and you're not going into anything trying to be second place. Like you are second is um, you're never satisfied and third yeah. is impulse control. You tell me I'm sorry, you Baby, you know that I'm bad for you, yeah Why you gotta be so naive? If I treat you like one I don't want Then you know I'm just so hard to please I lie to your face, they get what I want, babe Somehow you keep calling to me Why are you so naive, yeah?